All right, so here we go. Now this is kind of part two, I guess, of my uh, Monty Lane's progress here at the house. Uh, what I had to do here was, there's a 15 inch cupboard going here, but I didn't have enough. I only had the one stud, not enough to cover it. So I had to put a piece in down here and a piece in up top. So when we screw it onto the wall, then at least it's got more support than just the one stud. And the other 30 inch just going this way, at least that's got two studs to, uh, to screw onto. So just for that extra support, then uh, I had to do that. Been doing some, uh, some more mudding in that, and I gotta just plaster these two spots again one more time, especially the top one, maybe not so much the bottom one. Not gonna see them anyway, but they look pretty good now. Got a lot of patchwork done on the house there because uh, a lot of that wall was all wrinkly. The tape on it, or the paint on it was really, really wrinkly. So what I'm trying to do is put some plaster around where the wrinkles are at to try and smooth it out so when you paint it, it don't look, don't look so bad. I got one more spot right here I think that I should do over because when I run my fingers across it, she's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty lumpy there. So we almost got all this stuff here done. Only other problem situation I got to talk to somebody about now is we got a 15 inch cabin, cabinet going from this mark over to this mark. The only problem is I only got the one stud and it's about at the six, six inch mark. So I got to talk to somebody if I should be putting some backing either on either one of these sides to give it that support. Mind you, there's a 30 inch going here and another 30 inch going over here. So maybe if I screw it in with a couple of screws and tap it on to either one, it might give it enough support because there's, I don't think there's anything too heavy going in it. But that's another question I need for the experts. Uh, I got my holes patched up here. Some more patchwork over there because of all the lumps and everything. That's where the old electrical used to be for the stove. That one there. And the one that was the other one that was causing me a big problem was that pipe that used to come out come out of here for the sink. And we talked to a few people. There was a couple of options. One was to one person suggested was cut it off here and here, put a piece of plastic pipe in the middle, and then two rubber couplings, top and bottom. But a couple of people I talked to didn't like the idea of rubber because I mean rubber eventually will break down but I mean it'll take a lot of years but that's not the point. I mean the thing is if you're going to do it I guess you might as well do it right so then the other option was to cut it off but nobody had a cap um, that could go over an inch and a half pipe. So what this is is just uh, it's a pressure cap that they use when they're testing lines and somebody suggested we'll put that on and then just solder. Now mind you that soldering job looked pretty bad. And the black you see back there, no, that's not for me, because what I got Elaine, what Elaine did was she put the pizza pan in behind here while I applied the heat to this and soldered it. So whoever soldered this on years ago, obviously uh, didn't really care much about uh, whether the place was going to burn it down or not. She's pretty black in there, but that's the job here. So hopefully now the drywall will be able to go from here over to here. This won't be in the way. Um, the only thing that this is, the only reason why that's on is obviously just uh, just to keep the smells in the house. Because I mean, like, um, you don't want anything, like the smells backing up and coming out of here. So this cap goes on, I got it soldered on. And the other thing I'm going to do too is I'm just going to take black electrical tape and tape it all over. And uh, I mean, uh, she should be on good enough. So even if water did back up to this pipe, back up in this pipe, it shouldn't come out of here. Mind you, if water backs up in this pipe, up at the level we're at, I think you got more to worry about than whether or not this thing is going to leak. But uh, because it's going to be buried in behind the wall, and just in case we ever sell the house or whatever, at least, you know, it's done right. And if anything should ever happen or you put something on it shouldn't be there, then people can smell in the house and they won't know why. Not much I can do with these two pipes. they got to stay there. So I'm going to have to somehow, coverage are going to have to go in around that. But anyway, that pipe was a bit of a stressor. Talked to a few people, got some ideas, and this is the one I went with. And so now, next thing now is once the cupboard's not come in, as like I said, I'm going to put a hole down through the floor here, go over and uh, join into a, another piece of pipe that's there. That used to be, that used to drain the, uh, the dishwasher. So, I got to put some more insulation in there, put up the drywall, do a bit more mudding here. 
couple of places over there and I think after that then I think the place should start ready to get in paint uh, the only other problem we got right now is uh, the place where we're getting the cabinets from Home Depot they don't have any bases in and from what Elaine and I were told they got a truck that left on January the 20th coming down this way with 30 bases that's what they got on the truck and apparently there's about 50 people waiting for bases to finish off their kitchens and the only thing is is that's the last truck load of bases they're getting so all the cupboards we bought for going up around the top and everything else if we miss the opportunity to get those bases all that gotta go back and then we're gonna have to uh, go somewhere else but anyway hopefully that won't happen we're staying on top of it so yeah so the next biggest thing is get everything patched up and I gotta figure out about that 15 inch cabinet what I what's the best to do with that get everything sanded then we can start painting and uh, once the bases come in then we can start putting up the cupboards and then the next biggest thing then is that's uh, I got all the stuff bought for the plumbing